Hello everyone, welcome to a farm farming in the Philippines. Well, I'm down to begin irrigation. I'm about an hour late because I was transferring a file Bluetooth because I'm limited to Bluetooth again. Um, because the computer will no longer recognize the phone. I got it to work maybe two dozen times and it was working fine, but I did an upgrade, uh, the recommended upgrade on the or update whatever they call it periodically they'll say you need to update your computer and so i did and since i did that now i can't transfer files uh, from the phone to the computer so stuck back stuck back doing bluetooth again and i can't come down here the phone won't uh, transmit all the way to the computer from down here and I was in the middle of transferring a file and, and didn't want to have to do it over again, so waited about an hour or so. I'm about an hour late. I took a video down here yesterday, which I'm not going to upload. Uh, I, was, I checked the soil here for uh, moisture. There's a little left in there, just a little bit. It's actually not too bad. I could probably hold off a day, but... Or two even but the you know the, the video I made that I'm not going to upload was just me basically uh, uh, throwing a fit uh, with Marcel because the video we made I don't know several days ago when we walked around down here to check to see what was growing up and what, what other seeds we needed we decided in that video that that first portion of the field needed to be fertilized and so uh, that morning when we had the fertilizer I instructed Maricel to have the girls fertilize the watermelon plants that are around the limoncito trees first uh, these banana uh, the watermelons around the banana tree second and to do that field those two fields there last I don't know what uh, what happened in the translation, but they fertilized all this, all these fields here. Did not fertilize the watermelons around the limoncito trees or the ones around the banana trees, and and did not finish. They didn't have enough fertilizer to finish that beginning field. So I was, uh, you know, I was just frustrated. Um, I guess Marcel had told him to fertilize this stuff, which was not the right move. We've had a, you know, we've had a struggle getting things to come up. Things have started to come up, but they fertilized on these tiny little plants, and uh, it's, it's burned a, burned a lot of them up. They're just too small to fertilize. You see this one here. There used to be a little watermelon plant there, and now it's burned up. They're just too small to fertilize. But they were, and um, all I can do now is get water on them. That's why I'm not waiting. I could wait a couple days, because this soil is still damp enough, deep enough, to where uh, watering it isn't absolutely necessary. You can see there's still moisture down in there, a little bit. But because they were fertilized and it's burning them up, uh, I'm going to get water on them. So I'm going to go up and do one final check on these beginning fields to see if I'm going to do them or not. And we'll go from there. Yeah, these first two fields, even though they look pretty dry on the top, they do not need to be watered. And still a lot of... Uh, I mean, you can even see it here, the, the dampness on the top of the soil. So I'm going to hold off on this a couple days. Just put that right there, Andre. Andre, that's good. Just put it right there. He's bringing me down some water. I'm going to be stuck down here for a while. That's good, Andre. Right there. Uh, not, not picking up what I'm putting down. All right, so I'm out. I'm gonna go set this in the shade somewhere. 
So I'm not going to be doing these first fields. It's probably going to entail some dike work to bring it around. I'm going to set this right here. It is looking a little dry in here. I don't know. This is still too wet in here. I'm going to wait probably three or four more days before I do this. So I'm going to get set up down here and uh, so I can do that field and that one. I've got this prepped here after a fashion. We'll see how uh, it's really all I can do until I get some water in it. Uh, something else frustrating. You know, I asked Tati about a week ago to keep all the tools, all the hand tools, the hose, the rakes, the shovels, in the old uh, battery room for the solar. So that whenever I needed something, because look, in the past, whenever I need something, i got to run around, find Tati, find Nario, find somebody. Where's this? Where's that? I was just tired of it. So I asked him to keep everything in that shed. I just went to uh, get a shovel. Now we've got three shovels. Now there were two hoes and two rakes in that shed and no shovels. And John John just happened to remember that this one was in the piggery for some reason and got it for me but this is a square point shovel and digging in hard packed clay with a square point shovel is not much fun but I can't find the other ones who knows where they are uh, probably just thrown down when they were done with um, <laughs> it's just something else so I'm gonna go up and uh, start the water I got a little bit of extra loose soil here that I can add uh, quick like if I need it and let's make a little bit more here you never have enough loose soil when you're irrigating and I want to dig this out so that there is a an inlet here for the water and an egress as well way in and way out easy easy in easy out so I'm gonna go start the water release the water it's coming down as we speak I am gonna to have to make some uh, levees back there like in the first 15 feet just to make sure it gets down here without getting any more water on those first two fields than uh, we can get away with no leaks at all so far Proof will be in when it uh, gets about four inches deeper. I'm worried about it going around the sides of the boards. I'm going to hang around here for a few minutes and then I'm going to go back up there and put those dikes in that are needed. And I'm going to dig out a couple of uh, channels about a third of the way down here uh, so that the water can go to the left and right. And yeah, it's working fine so far. Yeah, we've got a little bit of a problem here. A little bit of footwork. Pack that in a little more better. That's why I brought, that's why I got this soil here ready. Yeah. 
cut into this bank right there and also right back there and to allow more points of entry for the water get my shovel out of here and just to help uh, disperse the water faster that's the whole thing with flood irrigating you want it all on it quick and then take it off of it because after about 15 minutes of having standing water it's just uh, soaking away going away to nothing now this here is what I was talking about having to build a dike here there was an old uh, carabao wallow right here and they cut the they cut the uh, canal right in the middle of it so I'm gonna shore that back up real quick like and uh, so I can keep the water off of these two fields I don't know why this camera does not want to shut off. All right, when I release that gate and let the water come down here, you know, it's only me. I'm doing this by myself. So before we had three guys, it was me and Tata and Nerio. I know there's no way that I would be able to, because this was just open here. There's no way I would be able to shovel enough dirt fast enough in fast flowing water to make a dam or to even get that check down here and get it filled in around so i've just uh i've just shoveled up a dam here uh, in advance i didn't even use that board we used the board here before uh just all earth and that way i can just uh, release that board down there and let the water come i'm probably going to be doing that in about half an hour up here and check and see how things are going. I think this <coughs> these fields were much drier this time than they were the last time. So it's taking quite a bit more water. I've already um, been letting water into this field for over an hour. And it only took an hour last time. It is getting closer though. About another inch. About another inch deeper and we'll be good. And then I'll release this. Yeah, about another inch, inch and a half. It's still, there's still a lot of this side of this field in particular. Uh, it just needs to be leveled out more. And once, once this, what we've got planted now comes to its end, uh, we're just gonna do one little section at a time, make it flat, make it level. Back there where that dog is, and he's a good six, eight, six or eight inches of soil taken out all along that bank there. And just moved here where you can see water right now that's where it needs to that's where that soil needs to go is where you can see water so that it forces the water that way and gives it a place to go same thing with this field all that far side let's just walk over there and maybe i can get across this without falling Right here, this last 15 feet all along this bank here needs to be, that soil needs to be removed and put right out there, right out there where you can see the lake. And that would pretty much make this flat. 
that's another reason why it's taking so long to do this and taking so much water because I'm not able to just flash it on and get it off instead of getting it all two inches deep uh, some of it is five inches deep and some of it doesn't have any water in it at all and that takes extra water all this standing water right here that's all soaking in as we speak or as I speak and if this was nice and flat that would be done back there and this would be done over here and we'd be moving on but instead still got water coming in still got water flowing and still have water just soaking into the ground and basically being wasted so it's a it's a priority to get these fields flattened out but uh, they're gonna have to these fields are gonna have to pay their own way any labor expense that we spend on flattening these fields leveling them <coughs> is gonna come out of uh, whatever we can grow and sell we'll get there I'm thinking probably another 30 minutes and I'll release this board I'm gonna go back up here make sure the levees I made back here are holding I put in levees they're only marginally effective because they're it's just seeping in it seeping around it seeping under it well it's working after a fashion because the water's only only going out a little bit Fact. while I'm here I'm gonna open these two up right here I had little checks here before I'm gonna get the hoe and open those up all right well I've gotten about all this that I'm gonna get right here it's unfortunate that about 20% of this field just does not get watered all this here is just too high I can't really force the water very much higher I could probably get another inch out of it if I really tried hard but that would take a lot of water just to get a little bit of water another three or four feet up that hill so I'm gonna open this up and release it and then let all this drain back out and uh, do these lower fields I'm running out of daylight. I haven't checked the time, but I know it's way past five. Yeah, I don't know. It's fairly easily go up another inch. Go down here and do an inspection. gotten pretty far up this side here yeah I'll let it go another 20 minutes another 20 minutes should give me another half an inch inch I think before we were right at it almost over topping right here right along this area so watch out bear bear so we'll give it a little more time get these fields down here filled up because all that water that was backed up in those fields there's quite a bit of 
there's not hardly any elevation difference between that first set of fields and the next one, the next set. But between those and these, there's quite a bit of elevation difference, like, I don't know, six inches maybe, maybe even eight inches. Whereas with those other two, those other four, there's maybe only a two inch difference. So all that water that's up there will drain into this, into these two fields pretty quick. Watch out, BB. Yeah, as you can see, it's uh, it's going to the right and the left pretty quick. I had dug these two out here before. I'm gonna dig this, this side out here a little bit more. Not gonna be much, there's not gonna be enough daylight for me to finish this up in the light. I'm gonna let the water run about another, it's 6.15, so I don't know, about two hours plus to do uh, most of this field, that field. So about another 45 minutes, I'm going to let the water run here. And then I'm going to shut it off at the uh, pond. I'm going to go up and finish up a planting video that I would started earlier. And I'm going to finish this one up because it's going to be dark by the time I get back down here. And you guys aren't going to see much in the dark. Thank you everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.